Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel. So I am currently doing a little mini series of cards using the online exclusive DSP called One Horse Open Slave. This is video number three. Let's move this aside. Now before we get started, I want to show you the new catalog came out. I'd love to show it to you, but there's a lot of videos that will walk you through the whole catalog. I won't be doing one of this. I just, there, there's a lot out there you could be watching. But what I do want to show you is I have 10 pokey tools that Miss Gloria Wolf uh, made and I ordered. Um, and anyways, I'm going to be giving away 10 of these to the first 10 customers who order $50 or more from the catalog for me. Um, I will post them at no charge to you. They are beautiful. You guys see me use this one all the time. It's almost identical to this one here. Um, but so that's just in case you would like to help me out and give me some orders. I want to give you something in return. So let's get that out of the way. Now, um, also, I also am going to be getting out. Where did they go to? I have. Oh my goodness, they can't. They were right here in this box and now they are like, oh, here they are. I have box gift sets of cards that I created. Um, I think there's four in each one. Let me see. I have several different boxes. So along with the order of those, I am going to be mailing out these. So there's one, two, three. There's three of the angels of three different Stamping Up angels. Beautiful cards. This paper, by the way, Stamping Up used to carry a brushed gold and brushed silver. And anyways, this is from a uh, paper pumpkin stamp set. This little sentiment we're going to use today. So that's just a little sneak peek. I'll show you some more uh, packages. This one I think has four or five in it. Two, three. This one has four. This one has three. So just a little added incentive there, hopefully. Um, so I think we're going to use this one today. We're going to use Noel. Um, this one, wishing you a never in ending season of love and peace. From our home to yours, maybe this one in these little snowflakes. Yeah, I brought a lot of little things out from the peaceful deer. So I pulled out those thinking those might be some things I use. Um, I did do some prep work on this card. So I already showed you guys how I have a stack of envelope card bases and DSP pulled and put together like so from the one horse open sleigh and i'm just going down the stack is all um and going to be working with them and seeing what i can come up with and i'm just put them like this and then i just pick one and i do a video so supplies are there I'm using very vanilla for the inside. So the one we are choosing is this one. And I pulled out two of them. I did some prep work, some fussy cutting of the trees out. Because this is an easy way to add to your card. And we're going to hopefully see if this works out. So I have the craft envelope, um, craft card base, this piece here for the very vanilla is for the inside of my card now what am i going to be doing let's get a look at this my idea was i want the center of this card like so so it looks like i didn't need to cut all those trees out but i'm thinking we might add them in a little stagger them a bit see about um, adding them in so we're going to go ahead and cut it this way to five and a quarter we could actually add a piece of early espresso behind it. Let's see. Let's see if there is a piece that is close to the size. If not, we'll just do without it. But if I have, <laughs> I love it when some things work out and some things. I have a couple of card bases in my 
Let's see. Is that a card base? Oh, there's a piece. All right. I told you either it would work out or it wouldn't. And it's going to work out. That early espresso, I think it's going to work really, really well. So our first layer, because our card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. This piece here for just a basic card layer needs to be at four by five in a quarter. And I don't mind cutting things like this down. Sometimes I overcut for something. Now I'm gonna save those bits up there just until I'm completely done. But that means this piece here needs to be that three and three quarters by five. So I'm gonna turn it this way and cut at five. All right, then I'm gonna turn it this way because I do want, I think we're gonna cut this whole tree out. There is three and three quarters. That's not gonna work. So I need to cut, so this is five and a half. Let's come over, do we wanna go to four and a half and cut? Now we're going to go to five and cut from that side. Then I'm going to turn it around and take another look. This is just how my mind works with these things. There is three and three quarters. And I like that. So now I did all that cutting of that other stuff. And I don't think we're going to get all that out of there. But it's all right. I don't mind cutting it up at all. What we are going to do. So this piece we cut off. This piece here is all going to get saved. This is going to get saved. I can use that for another one. We have this tree here that we are going to pop on dimensionals and it looks like this one. And then we have this little bit, which we're going to do. We're going to do that too. And maybe we'll get the top of it like a little stump down here. So this is going to go on this one. Just so you can see my mind's thinking, it's going to go like this. I'm d double debating in my head. So let's get some dimensionals here because we're going to need them. We need this one. We're going to have to fussy. We're going to have to trim this one off once we get it on there. So I'm going to get my pokey tool because I cut my... I was making lumpia yesterday and I cut my finger with a knife when I was chopping carrots to get them in my food processor. There's one. And here's, I want to make sure it doesn't go outside of there. Okay, there's one. Now we can put some minis in there. And one more on this side, and then we're going to go to the other side, right along here. Oops, just continue picking it up from this line. So one at the top, we don't want to miss anything. There. And this one here. So let's take all these backings off. So what are we going to do? We could stamp that Merry Christmas right there or right down here or right above. I really will have to see because maybe, maybe, where's my trees that I said we were going to use? This one is this tree right here. Where's my other tree? That one. I'm looking under my glass mat here. I see it. The one with all the branches. Yikes. Dimensionals, dimensionals. Where's the tree at? Oh, it's got the green down there. Okay. Don't know what I was thinking. So, this one... It's going to go, we could actually move it 
down, but we're going to put it right where back where it came from on the other sheet. Put it over there a bit. And this one is going to do the same thing. This is really simple, just using the paper. Oh, look at how nice that is. We do not need to add that, but we can keep that tree and this tree for another one. So now I'm going to turn it over and I need to trim this bit off. Oh, I wanted to add little snowflakes in here in Misty Moonlight. I think Noelle is going to go right here, but we're going to probably, we're going to be stamping off here. I know that for sure. So stamp off. Maybe two times. Stamp off, stamp off. How do we like it? Oh, we like that lighter version. So stamp off, stamp off. We're going to come here. Oh, just a little bit. That one wasn't stamped off all the way. Stamp off twice. We're going to do these snowflakes. I probably should have done this before we did all the, we're going to go around our deer. We don't want to do Get the deer covered there. Stamp off twice. Let's just keep working it. It needs a little there. So I'm just getting those two by tilting it that way. working down here all right so now noel because it's nice oh we're gonna bring out the old word window punch again yes come on where'd you go i know i put you down there there it is noel will fit on there i'm pretty sure and i'm getting the other one just in case I need it and we are going to use this little bit here for right there this little bit here because it's the same coloring but we are going to use are we going to go with the blue I think oh I'm so like mm, do I want to add I got two pieces so I don't think I want to do it in blue, but I think I want to do it in a pop of cherry cobbler. I just do. Or you could do early espresso. Let's see. Where's the scratch paper? Let's move that aside for a minute. Nope, it's going to be early espresso. I want it real neutral colors got to clean it off. It's just going to look more pulled together. Very subtle. So we're going to use this bit here. And I got the circle punch out. That is not the one I wanted to grab. Noel. Now we could use, where's, I have this little tiny bit. This has, um, no, we still need that for the inside. Let's put that right there. There was a little tiny bit. There it is. From me cutting the trees out. I'm going to use this, I think, if it fits. To go behind Noel. This is just the back of the paper. So let's see if this will 
actually work. It's going to be a close call. It really is. But I think that will get it. That is why I save little pieces. And it is going to work out beautifully. That little bit of green here. Where's my card? It's going to go right there. Or, or let's take a look. We know that we have plenty of this one. So let's punch one of these because I can always use it later. I'm thinking that might even be better. This one we could use on another card. Oh, okay. So it's going to be the darker of the two. I like it. Look, it looks like a little snowstorm in there. All right. I think we're going to add some snowflakes to this. And I have an idea for that little deer that's left over. If you're thinking, oh, she wasted that cute little deer. No, I didn't. I didn't. I have an idea for him that's from the other sheet where I cut all the trees off. Oh, so, so, so cute. Or we could just add a little piece of burlap behind that. No, it's... Do we want to add just a hair of burlap behind this one? To add... Well, no, it's just not going to be seen, so it doesn't do any good. We can add a dimensional to this one. This one is going to go right there. So let's glue this one down. And dimensionals. Thank goodness for Benny. Save me from having to cut everything up. Two on this one. One, two, three, four. Oh, we could add the tree to the inside. Yes, we are. Are we? Yes, yes, no, yes, yes, we are. We are. So for the inside, oh, let's say wishing you a never ending season of love and peace. I do like that. So we're going to stamp this one in early espresso. Oh, we have to turn that around. Why is that not like stamping? There, now it stamps, but that is like gone. Let's pull another piece. I do have extras in envelopes. I don't know why that is like not working for me. So let's try again. This time we're going to push on the U and the A. There we have it. Just needed a little bit more. So this one, we are going to go from our home to yours. Right up here. Which I think is lovely. This one is wishing you, I told you I wanted to use this one. We're going to put this down here. Wishing you, well, I'm not getting that A on there at all. So that's not going to work. And this one, we are going to do this. We are going to close the envelope flap and then stamp North Pole. <gasps> Ta-da! Okay. So this one, we need some of those little snowflakes from Misty Moonlight. Let's 
Let me set that there, that there, and bring this over here. So we're going to stamp off twice there, stamp off twice, going here, there we go. We're going to go full strength because it's on craft. So we're going to go there, and then like so, up at the top, and like so, and then we do want some around our North Pole. So there, and there. Our envelope is complete. Let's glue our others down. So where's my trees that I cut? I told you, I thought we might put a tree from what we cut like so. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. I mean, we cut it to be used and we can... This one is too big to add to it. We would have to trim. We would have to trim it off. We could do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I don't want to come too far to the edge, but let's use it. All right. I've got to go like this, guys, to make sure it's there. Now we're going to cut this off. It's okay. You can't tell that the tree isn't straight by the way the design is. Trim all that off. Why is that like not wanting to cut? There we go. You could actually keep that too, but this one is going to fit perfectly in there and it all ties in then with our other one. Ah, oh, look at that. So now we can put this. We could trim it down a little so that is like will it move yes we are going to trim this piece here down so it's all even that means guillotine time sorry i can't cut a straight line to save my life it just doesn't happen i don't mind trimming it down right there No X this time. There we go. So that is project number three. You can't really see the, the North Pole back there, but it's there. So I hope that you guys enjoy me showing some of these uh, retired projects because some of you guys might have them. I'm looking for the Wink of Stella. I want to add just a little bit of sparkle on here. And since I'm going to pay extra anyways for this, let's add, where's those little snowflakes going? I was like, let's add some little rhinestones. We could add two little ones right there and a third one right there. So rhinestones or snowflakes, we're going with rhinestones. I finally found where they went to. Just little ones, because the deer is so tiny. And I want to pop this one right in this one. Yeah, over here, over here, or up here. Mm, 
Nope, I want it on that one. It's just where I want it to be. Just a little bit of crystal on there to say sparkle and shine. So I hope you guys like it. I do. I enjoy doing this so, so very much. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, or comment if you would be so kind. I would appreciate it greatly. And more than anything, please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.